Dudley Clendenin is an award-winning author and journalist who lives here in Baltimore. He's a former national reporter and editorial writer for the New York Times. He's the co-author of Out for Good, The Struggle to Build a Gay Rights Movement in America, which is considered a seminal work on the history of the gay rights movement. I began to have a series of ambitions that I wanted to have a lot of friends, fall in love and marry. I wanted to write. I wanted to eat a lot. I wanted to drink a lot. <laughs> I wanted to work in the newspapers. I have something called popularly Lou Gehrig's syndrome. It's um, a neuromuscular disease. Lou Gehrig's is, has no treatment and no cure. And it has a calendar, which is often one and a half to three years, as best I understand it. This month marks the 30th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. It is an event that many see as the beginning of the gay rights movement in America. You know, this is a movement that started as a sexual liberation movement, um, because that was very much in the air, in the, you know, in the radical years, and which very quickly became a civil rights movement. And that's been the tension back and forth in this movement all along. I've always tried to live my life with integrity, especially the last 22 years, the period I've been sober and the period I've been out as a gay person. I think you can kind of divide the arc of his career almost right in the middle. The dividing line is the line he crossed when he decided to come out as a gay man. I wanted children. I wanted seriously to have fun. I wanted to go to work with the New York Times. I wanted to write one decent book. I wanted to win a Pulitzer Prize. And then I wanted to die. Well, 27 out of 30, in fact. 